be making bases. What's going on? It's Eva J back again with another video. Um, in this particular lecture, what I'm going to be doing is covering um, how to get the proper levels with your tracks. Okay, how to get the proper levels with the tracks. Now, the first thing you want to obviously do is listen to what you have going on. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to do that, though, if you have the levels all the way up. So what we're going to do, if you go up to the top here and hit this little thing that looks like the mixer, that's going to take you to the mixing window. Um, the first thing we're going to do is just highlight everything and we're going to just bring this the levels down a little bit. OK, just so it's not blaring and just too crazy when we when we play this okay, or play this back. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the option key and then this slide over with my mouse. This is just another way to affect this right here to zoom in or whatever. That's a little hot key to zoom in. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a loop. Maybe about a good like four to eight bar loop. And I want to just find a place in the song that has the majority of all of the tracks in it. So um, actually where I'm at pretty much does. I have this. I have that. Um, I'll come back and move over and we'll mix this part. But for the most part. I got a lot of the stuff that I'm going to need to mix in here. So that's what you want to do. You want to find like a real busy part of the song, primarily like the hook or something. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to go over here to one of these these sections here and then we'll, we'll start listening to what we have going on. So let's go ahead. The first thing is to listen. So now that we hear what's going on, kind of like hear some of the instruments, I'm going to come over here so we can hear this part, this as well. All right, so that's sounding pretty dope. Um, once you kind of get an idea of how the beat's going to sound and where everything's at, what you want to do is start to pick out like a main focal point. Um, for this beat, uh, if you can see here, this, this guitar is really a good main focal point, something we want to focus on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here to the mixer and I'm going to highlight all these, these tracks. I'm going to bring the levels down and a lot of people are going to tell you different ways to do it. It really is just based off of the way you hear the what you hear, um, but just to kind of keep things organized and keep these in, in a, in a process, what you would want to do is just start bringing up instruments one by one. Now I'm going to bring up the guitar, the main focal instrument first, and then mix the beat around that and then bring in the other instruments. That's the way that I uh, do it. That's the way I was shown to do it. You can do it a lot of different ways, but I mean, this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring up that guitar first, and then we're going to start bringing in some of the, uh, some of the other instruments. So here, let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna pull this guitar up. Matter of fact, we'll just go ahead and put that at zero. And it slowly begin to bring the levels up. And what you want to do when you, when you think about bringing the levels up is this is keep it simple and just bring it up just to where it feels right. Once it feels right, leave it alone. You're not really trying to, you know, perfect this right now. Just bring it up just to where it feels right. You don't want to spend a lot of time on it. Just you already have the ear. Trust me, you're a producer. Just bring the levels up to where you feel they need to be. And the main key, the key, key thing is you want you don't want the instruments to be overpowering one or, or the other. OK, so you don't want like the kick drum to be too loud or too soft in the mix. You don't want hats to be too loud or too soft. Certain instruments too loud or too soft. Now, the guitar is the star of the show, 
but um, we want to go ahead and bring the levels up. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, another tip here, as you are actually bringing the levels up on your actual digital interface, you wanna make sure that you are adjusting the levels or getting the proper levels at a low volume level, okay? You don't wanna blare your music all the way up to where you can't really hear all the little nuances. The best way to do this is to mix or start the mixing process at a very, very, very low level, okay? Uh, with the out, with the output, you know, at a very very low level. Um, so let's go ahead and continue to do this. We're going to continue to bring it in. This this where we feel it sounds pretty, you know, sounds right. cool so i feel like the drums are sounding pretty solid along with our main star which is the which is the guitar so now what we want to do is to start bringing in these other instruments we don't want to overpower the main instrument uh, or the star of the show or the the drums these are going to be some like accent pieces okay so let's just go ahead and start uh, i'll show you what i mean And so as you can see, I'm just moving this uh, this guy right here, the loop bar right here, this top bar right here, moving that just so I can catch more of this brass sound. So again, you don't want to overthink this. The, the best results come for that initial gut feeling when you first are listening to the music. Get the proper levels, get it sounding right. Make sure that you find a uh, the star of the show. You want that to be up front, and you know you want to mix the, the drums around it. Keep things simple. Remember to mix low. Mix the vo you know the overall volume of the mix on your. Uh, your, your interface, you want to make sure that that's turned down while you're doing it. And you just keep it simple, man. You don't over have to overly try to get the levels. I found that when I try to overly get the levels on this, I end up always messing something up. 
So go with that first gut instinct of what you feel like it should sound like, and then you can always adjust it from there. If you're you're really bad at mixing, what you can do is use what's called a reference track, okay? And what a reference track is, is gonna be a professionally, already professionally mixed and mastered track. So you just go to YouTube, download a track or, or, or play a track off of Spotify, YouTube or whatever, and kind of listen to where they have certain things sitting in the track volume wise. And you can just basically A and B, basically your mix based on theirs. OK, I'm not going to do that for this. Um, I want you all to use your ears, you know, you do your own ear training, stuff like that. But for the most part, this is all you got to do when it comes to getting the levels. OK, if you follow those different techniques and tips, I told you, you'll be fine. Thank you for watching. Make sure you go ahead and immediately uh, you know, start getting the levels on your beats and then go to the next lecture. I'll see you. All right. Peace.